Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Prince Lucky. You know what I'm saying? Cruising with Prince. And I want to talk about Colombia right now. Medellin, to be exact. All right? And I want to talk from the aspect of a black man, a young black man. That's what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about uh, any coaches that's outside of mine. Except when I'm talking about the culture of Colombians and in Medellin. So I'm coming from a gangster perspective. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm coming from a young black dude from an urban city, you know, uh, who's seen some, who got a little something. You know, uh, it may take a more to impress me, you know, than uh, the average guy. All right. So let's talk about Colombia, Medellin, and what it means for a black young person that's looking to travel, you know, and go outside of the United States. All right. Now, let me start this off by saying Colombia, Medellin is not a place for your motherfucking significant other to go to and i'm talking about i'm talking to my guys you don't take your woman you don't take your woman you don't take your woman to columbia that's rule number one now i ain't gonna count these rules down i just want y'all to follow me all right it's senseless taking your girlfriend this is a a completely guys trip only there's no sightseeing in Colombia. It's not much to see. When you get off the plane, well, when you flying into it and you see the buildings, the dome of Medellin, you be like, damn, this is dope. But when you land and you get in the car, you're moving around, it's nothing to see very exciting. Uh Except this one little spot they got, you know what I'm saying? It's this rock that's like two hours away. I can't even think of the name of it right now. Comment the name of it, you know what I'm saying? But don't take your girlfriend to Columbia, young black men. Two, 99% of the motherfuckers in Columbia, the only shit that they know is Spanish. You, you rarely going to find somebody that know English in Colombia. Um, you see a lot of black people that look just like me, and you think that they out there from the States, you're wrong. Those are Afro-Latinos. They don't know no English neither, even though they look like me. You know, so when you go into Colombia, 99% of people speak Spanish you're going to need to download translator Google translator that's the only way you're going to be able to talk to these people or talking through your hands you know and that seems to get tiring because people just don't understand still when you're talking with your hands you know for example I'm sitting there telling this one guy I'm trying to get to the airport I go like this shoo this motherfucker still didn't know. He took me to a local airport. I'm like, no, the main airport. I'm trying to get the hell out of here. I almost missed my flight. But what I'm trying to say is I was talking through my hands, you know, and that shit ain't going to work. That shit ain't going to work. You're going to need Google Translator, you know, and I got like T-Mobile for my phone. So that shit ain't working when you get out there. It's not working at all. Uh, I advise you to get WhatsApp, you know, but if you don't have Wi-Fi, you still fuck, you know, but WhatsApp is like the number one, uh, you know, phone little app service that they use out there, but it's still useless if you don't got no Wi-Fi, and I think I'm saying that to say if you're using translator and you not under Wi-Fi, it's not going to pick up what you're trying to say. So you can be somewhere stuck in the middle of somewhere with no Wi-Fi, with translator, and you're trying to spell something, put something on there, 
and it's not going through because it ain't no Wi-Fi. So I find it shocking, you know, uh, it's like a culture shock to remove me from where everybody in America speak English damn near. You know, you got your ones and twos that uh, don't know English, you know, that just got into the country. But that's cool, too. You know, but damn, English is the primary language here, you know. So when I go to Colombia, that shit is all out the door. That shit is all out the motherfucking door. You know? Uh, I fuck with how I get around so good. I, I got a homie that's out there in Columbia. Shout out to my boy Passport Dog. Book a tour! Motherfucker, you know. Uh, I, I fucked with him the first time I went to Columbia. And he told me, and he's from the States, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and he told me the ins and outs and uh, what to expect and, you know, um, important words that I should use, you know what I'm saying? And when I go out there, I'm always with him. So if I'm with somebody that's, if I'm, Somebody that's talking Spanish, he understands it. You know, he been out there for over like four years, so he understands Spanish and can talk that shit right back. You know, so I suggest you find you somebody, you know, uh that that knows some English that can guide you through the city. Or if if not, if you fly here and you don't know nobody and don't nobody speak no English, and all you is going on is that Google Translator, you finna have a hard fucking time. You finna have a hard fucking time. Let's set this phone down. We're gonna do some real fucking talking on this blog right here. You know what I'm saying? I might put this motherfucker on uh I might put this motherfucker on Patreon. You know. Alright, so we got the language shit down. Let me try to cut one of these off. Maybe that's it. Let me see. Shining a little bit too much, too hard on that. Nah, I think that's cool. Y'all can see me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I, I, I do better videos than this, but right now I'm on some uh, continuous play, let it talk type shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm giving more game, you know, uh, more than uh, a 4K video like lit up. You know what I'm saying? All right, so what we leave off at? Um, don't bring your girl to Columbia. Go with one of your homies or go by yourself. Uh, try to touch bases with somebody that speak English in Columbia, you know, that can guide you around, you know, uh, it might cost you a little money. Like I just said, y'all can holler at my boy Passport Dog on, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, book a tour with him and he gonna take you to where everything is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's talk about the people. I know what y'all waiting for. Y'all waiting for me to talk about them. I know what you're waiting for. You're going to have to let me get to that, you know? So, uh, they got, uh, what was I going to say? The currency is all different, you know? So, yeah, you get more for your U.S. dollar uh, they call it COP, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they call it by the mills. So they say thousands. So when you say uh, 150 mil, you probably think that's a lot. That's not a lot. 150 mil is like $35 US, US, you know what I'm saying? 200 mil is like fucking damn near $50, 40 some dollars, you know what I'm saying? So just because you hear the word mil and thou and 150, 200, 500, you know, don't think that's a lot of money because it's not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get more bang for your buck when you swap your American money. The thing is, you need to find a good enough uh, retailer that distributes, that exchanges that money and gives you a better rate. You know, because for like every hundred dollars, they might try to give you like eighty-seven dollars. You know what I'm saying? And the eighty-seven dollars a flip today, today shit. You know, and then they take the little cutoff. You know what I'm saying? It's still a lot of money because you were in Colombia. You know what I'm saying? And the U.S. dollar mean way more. 
You know what I'm saying? But um, try to find the best retailer that you can when it comes to exchanging money. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep you uh, big pesos. You don't want to keep American money on you. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's talk about this. Um, the food is completely different. You know, uh, it's a culture thing. Like, when you in America, do you go to get Colombian food at Colombian restaurants? You know, uh, don't expect the same things. They got a couple of uh, branches out there like KFC, Domino's, Pizza Hut. But even that tastes different. You know what I'm saying? Subway and things like that. The pops are different. You know, I can't explain it. Like, it's just all the way different, man. Don't expect, you know, to get a Coca-Cola. Like, you get a Coca-Cola from the gas station, and, you know, sweet as hell. You get a Coca-Cola in Colombia. It got way less sugar in it. It don't taste the same. You know, I don't know what they're doing to their shit. But the food and the drinks are very the fuck different than in the United States. Um, the traffic is fucked up. The traffic is fucked up. Everybody riding around on little moped bikes. You know what I'm saying? Motorcycles and shit. Reckless as hell. Do not rent a car. You're just going to fuck it up. Or somebody going to fuck your shit up. You know, because you not you don't know how to drive and that shit. So I don't suggest that you rent no car and think you finna get the driving through. No, you just get you a cab. The cabs is pretty cheap. You probably pay like 10000 You know what I'm saying? That's like damn near like four, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? Just to get from where you need to get to in Colombia. Uh, taxis are everywhere. It's more taxis on the street than it is regular people. You know what I'm saying? Even the mopeds is taxis. You can jump on a moped taxi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it come down to getting food and eating and shit like that, you know, uh, they got some good uh, spots that uh, come and bring you your shit like DoorDash. You know what I'm saying? Uber Eats out here. They got some shit called Rappy out there. R-A-P-P-I or some shit like that. So you want to go download that app and you can order a lot of shit from all Rappy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, And they 24-7. They on them little scooters and they coming through dropping liquor off. Whatever you need. Cigarettes. You can order a lot of shit from off rapping and they're bringing that shit straight to you. You know what I'm saying? The Airbnbs is real cheap. Real cheap, you hear me? You go get you a nice pad out there for a little bit of nothing. I'm talking about like three, four days, four, five days for under a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's real cheap out there. Great locations, great spots. You know what I'm saying? For the gringo. What's the gringo? Americans and shit. You know, so when you go to Medellin, you damn near want to go to the gringo side of town. You know, uh, and people going to smell and sniff you out. You know what I'm saying? They know you're not part of this. They, they fucking culture and they sitting and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you probably want to hang around where the other motherfucking tourists is at. You know what I'm saying? And that's the Larry Ass Park. Park A. Larry Ass. You know, it's the number one spot. Now, I've been hearing a lot of motherfuckers on, on the web talking about it's dangerous, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. Now, y'all got to know I'm talking from the black man perspective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't get that. I just get, I, I get more nervous not knowing what people are talking about. You know, uh, than the vibe of somebody going to do some harm to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Just be aware, you know what I'm saying, of your surroundings. And Larrares Park, Park A. Larrares, Larrares, whatever you want to call it. So many different ways to call this park. You know what I'm saying, what they call it. Listen, get your Airbnb and that's out of town. That's where you want to be at. That's where everything is happening at. Go to that section. Stay on your P's and Q's. Let's move on. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else we going to talk about? I know what y'all want to talk about. Y'all want to talk about them girls. You know what I'm saying? I know I know that's what y'all want to talk about. Um, I'm just trying to think about 
the most important things. Okay, uh, the poverty out there is fucking terrible. All right, terrible, 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 terrible. Um, there's so many people that's in need of help. Soon as they see you, they running up on your ass. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, stick their thumb up. Everybody is okay. So like in the hus, like in the States, homeless people hustle is just straight begging. Look, I don't got it. Can you hear me? I was not saying I don't got it. You know, and that shit get on our nerves. But when you out there, that shit is like time 50 from the, the motherfucking homeless people that be out here. You know what I'm saying? And the way they beg is completely on oh, some whole nother level shit. Like these, my, my friend, my friend, please help. Fool, fool. Venezuela, Venezuela, my friend, my friend, baby. These motherfuckers carry their babies around with them, begging. And you see these motherfuckers swapping out kids. You know, 10 minutes, this motherfucker holding this kid. 10 minutes later, that same kid across the street, begging. They just walk up and down the street all day, begging. If you sit down in the restaurant, they'll sit there. If they notice you a gringo, American, expat, whatever the fuck, they notice you. My friend, my friend, please, please. Please, please. And that shit be so fucking annoying, you know. And once you help one person, all eyes is on you, especially when you go out there, you know. So I guess somebody's some change. They walk off. Gosh, yes. Eight other motherfuckers, nine, ten other motherfuckers just seen what the fuck just happened. Now they all running up to you. Just like you, you give, uh, and I hate to, compare this shit, you know, I just gotta make the example, uh, when you give pigeons food and shit, you drop, you, you feed one pigeon, ten more from out the cut, seeing exactly what you just did, now they want this, and they, they flocking around just trying to get this and shit, so you know, it's really a it's a, it's a super economic problem, uh that's going on out there especially in the Larares Park area, you go to Centro El Centro, like downtown, you don't really get that uh, that same vibe that you get in the River Rest Park. You know, the homeless people from there and there is two completely different things. And they walk around with their kids, girls, and all kind of other shit. You know, so uh, be prepared for the thirsty people that's, that's begging, you know. And some people, they just keep these little carts and they have candy and shit. They have suckers. My friend, my friend, please, please, my friend, anything, one dollar, dollar, U.S., my friend, my friend. <laughs> I hear that shit so fucking much. I, you, you know, I know how to, I know how to get them to stop doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Gracias. Gracias. Stick your thumb up. Gracias. Gracias. They walk away. They turn around immediately after you say that. But if you say anything else, like, no, they still going to sit there. You know, if you try not to look at them, they'll sit there and watch you eat for five, ten minutes and be sitting there with the little kid, the baby. Then here come the mama, too. All of them sitting there looking at you. Please, please help. Please. I mean, this fucking bad. It's fucking bad. I've been talking for 18 minutes, 19 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Part two, I'm going to give y'all what y'all want to hear. Because I know what you motherfuckers want to hear. This is the truth about Colombian Medellin and a black man perspective. The truth. Fuck, fuck the video right now. Because if you look through my videos, you know I get out with my production. Right now, I'm drinking. I'm cooling out. Just let me talk my shit to y'all. Part two, I don't know. I might have to put that bitch on Patreon. I don't even think I can be that explicit talking on YouTube like this. Hey, this your boy Prince Ducky. You watching Cruise with Prince. Subscribe and go watch every single one of my Columbia blogs out right now. I show you how I really get down. Until part two, I see you soon. Cruising, subscribe. Cruising, subscribe. Cruising, subscribe. Cruising, subscribe. Cruising, subscribe. Cruising, subscribe.
cruising, cruising with Prince World. Around the world, Prince, who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Hit yourself and subscribe, man. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to Diamond. Cruising around the world, Prince, who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Subscribe, Don't forget to like this Platinum on that red tail On the way to die Cruising Cruising the world Cruising the world I'm cruising the world Cruising with Prince World I'm running out of ports Damn, we don't been here five times Stumped all of them blocks, boy Two watches for shit time Hit the island, I'm fresh and said They tell that I'm green, go Gotta go find nothing, they know I want that end though Cruise with me and we turn up, cruise with them and they turn down Damn party like us, bro, they cool the seats like old folks My run runners stay pulled up, they who is that when we roll up You cruising with Prince World, hit the sub for Prince Club Cruising, cruising the world Cruising the world I'm cruising the world Cruising with Prince World Cruise around the world, Prince who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Hit the sub and subscribe, bitch. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to Diamond. Cruise around the world, Prince. Who gave you them cruise tips? Got the keys to that cruise ship. How to speak all that green shit. Hit the sub and subscribe, bitch. Don't forget to like this. Platinum on that red tail. On my way to Diamond. Diamond. Diamond.